Chris, what are we doing today? All right, so my name is Chris, I'm a physician assistant, work at UCSD Urology. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a bladder installation for interstitial cystitis. So there's a few things that actually go into the solution, which is this right here. Um, there is a lidocaine, which is gonna help for uh, uh, numbing the pain temporarily. Some patients get it anywhere from an hour up to 24 hours, just depends on the patient. The next thing is a buffered solution, so it's sodium bicarbonate, just to make sure the medicine absorbs a little bit better. The last thing is uh, heparin, which is structurally similar to the missing component in interstitial cystitis patient's bladder wall. So it actually helps repair and it actually helps make you feel better when you leave here. Um, next couple of things that we have here are just, just for the actual procedure itself. Before we ever do this, uh, um, the installation, we clean off the area with uh, some iodine. Uh, next thing that we do is we actually will put in a little bit of uh, lidocaine just around the area just before we put in uh, a small catheter just to actually drain the bladder and instill a solution. So I'm just gonna get everything prepped here. All right, down towards the edge just a little bit more. All right. And Chris, do people need to empty their bladders here or yes. do most urologists prefer that they keep it Yes, please empty your bladder before you come into the room because otherwise we're going to have to have a whole bucket here after we drain your bladder right in front of me. Okay. One more. Oh, you're three? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mr. Lovely Chaperone as well. <laughs> okay, I'll take this. Now we're using the lidocaine gel. Just put a very small amount actually in the urethra. Give it a second to work. All right. And then just to answer the question, so this is just a very small cup just to catch whatever urine she might have created in between uh, when she emptied her bladder before coming in the room and now. <clears throat> it's a very small catheter. All right. And Chris, what is the difference between getting these solutions and taking Elmeron? So Elmeron is a uh, basically it's a medicine um, that is structurally similar to with the heparin. That's the component that actually helps repair the bladder wall lining. Uh, so Elmeron is um, made from a different source than heparin, but they both are very similar. Uh, downside to Elmeron is that only about 1% of what you actually take in is absorbed and makes it actually to the bladder where it needs to go. Okay. So Elmeron is nice because it's a pill and you don't have to actually come into the office or do these solutions by yourself. Um, but only 1% of what you actually uh, take in actually makes it. And how long am I supposed to hold the solution in? All right, so we hold the solution in for 20 minutes. Um, we've noticed that if you hold it in for any longer, there's no added benefit. So you just basically hold it for 20 minutes and then you go ahead and pee whenever you have to go. Um, and then you're good to go. All right, anything else you'd like to add, Chris? Not this time. If you guys have any other questions, you can always ask us. All right, thank you. All right.